This idea of Trump to drill off the East Coast is, is insanity. It really is insanity. You know, New Jersey is a, is a state that was impacted by Hurricane Sandy. Drilling off the Jersey coast is going to uh, put more petroleum, uh, make more petroleum to be burned, put more greenhouse gases into the atmosphere, make the severity of storms worse, make storms more prevalent. The Jersey shore is going to be battered by even more. We've already raised our homes high enough. We don't want to raise our homes anymore. This is a completely insane idea, and we are all coming out together, all these folks today, to, to put a stop on this. The Congress has mandated that the Interior Department develop a, a five-year program of, of oil and gas lease sales. And there is a proposed program that is on the table. And we're here at this meeting mostly to hear about the environment, hear people's concerns, and uh, uh, to see whether some areas shouldn't be included because of that. I just want to say how distraught we all are that there is any chance at all that there could be offshore drilling here in, in New Jersey. I'm just appalled by it, and uh, I think this is a wonderful event because we're right next door to the, uh, I'll call them the perpetrators. <laughs> <laughs> sit there now and you can watch all the wildlife off the ocean. I just think it's fantastic. You know, we're not going to do anything to jeopardize that. We're going to continue to work hard. We, but we have to have loud voices. We have to let those in Washington know that we are not going to sit back and let this happen. It hurts our marine life, hurts our ecosystem, right? It hurts our tourism. We have a huge, huge tourism industry that's involved in our shores, our beaches, and our coastline. I've spent my whole career as a physicist working on alternative energy. It is clear, as you just heard, the future is in renewables. The future is not in fossil fuels. And if we want to make America first and not last, which is what we're seeing over and over again, it is up to us. We need to be leaders when it comes to renewable energy. We need to be leaders when it comes to environmental protection. I also say not, I'm not just the only physicist. I'm a, I'm a surfer. So, uh, <laughs> And there is nothing like bring my family out to, to the shore, going out early, me and the dolphins, right? There's no garbage, there's no oil, there's nothing. It's me and the dolphins. I will tell you, I'm not really a surfer, I'm a faller, but... <laughs> so thank you so much. I just don't want no drilling, and um, I'm here to protect them. First of all, it's outdated um, energy. We should be already looking for renewables at this point. We should stop funding these kind of analytical surveys. And number two, the environment. The environment is precious, it's life-giving, and it is for now and the rest of time. BOEM is responsible for offshore management of, of all energy and minerals, and it includes the sand that's been used to recover from, from uh, hurricanes here. And it includes uh, renewable energy and especially wind, which is the, you know, up and down the coast we've been working with uh, a lot of people to advance that.